Apple's upcoming M5 MacBook Air might look sleek on the outside, but underneath the aluminum shell, cracks are already showing. And not the kind Apple fans want to admit. According to Max Tech's Vadim Yuryev, the supposedly revolutionary M5 chip is struggling with heat management. Cinebench 2024 tests reveal clear signs of thermal throttling, with the M5's single to multi core ratio dropping from 5.38x on the M4 to 5.07x on the M5. It performs impressively for a few seconds, then chokes once the system gets warm. That's not progress, that's regression, masked as refinement. For a chip built on TSMC's advanced 3 nanometer N3P processor, expectations were sky high, but the M5 seems to be fighting the same overheating battle as its predecessors. Apple defenders will argue that the Air isn't meant for heavy workloads, which is just another way of saying it's not powerful enough to handle them. Sure, it's fine for basic tasks like browsing or writing emails, but when Apple markets the Air as capable of handling creative workflows, it starts to feel Feel like false advertising. Yes, it will still outperform most Windows Ultrabooks in its class, but that's not saying much when those laptops cost hundreds less and often come with better cooling systems. On paper, the specs look impressive. A 10-core CPU, upgraded 10-core GPU, 16-core neural engine, and 153 gigabytes per second memory bandwidth all sound like major upgrades. But specs only tell half the story. In real-world usage, the M5's thermal limitations mean it rarely sustains those headline speeds for long. Apple seems obsessed with efficiency to the point of sacrificing sustained performance. Even the claimed 45% GPU boost and four times faster AI tasks sound inflated. Great for marketing slides, but questionable in practical use, especially on a fanless chassis. The rumored storage and memory upgrades are perhaps the only genuinely positive move here. If Apple finally makes 16 gigabytes RAM and 512 gigabytes storage the base configuration, it would correct a mistake that's been lingering since the M1 era. But knowing Apple, there's a high chance that change will be tied to an even higher base price. The M5 Air could easily cross $1,099, pushing it further away from the affordable Mac category it once dominated. Visually, Apple isn't even trying. The same design from the M2 era is returning for a third time, with no external improvements or innovation to speak of. For a company that prides itself on design evolution, this stagnation is disappointing. The promised big update in 2027 feels like an excuse to recycle the same chassis for another two years. And still no OLED, just the same LCD with minor efficiency tweaks. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, the M5 MacBook Air, in both 13-inch and 15-inch variants, is currently being tested with macOS 26.2 and is expected to launch in early 2026, most likely around March. This timeline aligns with Apple's usual spring release cycle, positioning it just ahead of WWDC. Prices are expected to start around $1,099, with older M4 and M3 Air models likely seeing price cuts once the new version arrives.